Thanks, guys. Now, I mentioned earlier that LOL Jack's Film Festival will be returning to WJCT Studios, but this time I decided to chat with the man backstage who will be headlining one of the after parties Saturday night. Life is not ever promised, so I keep my film closer. Yeah, yeah. Respect is not ever given, yeah, so yeah. it's hard to stay sober. Yeah, 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 my life is a roller coaster yeah, yeah. that goes backwards and forwards. Yeah, yeah. Goes backwards and forwards. <laughs> goes backwards yeah. and forwards. Yeah. My conscience be really snapping. Yeah. I dance like I'm Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. I promise that's still the traption of this movie, so please stop back then. Yeah, yeah. She must die when I walk up the stage. I'd rather follow on my dreams. All right, so that was just a little bit of what you will see when you go out to LOL Jack's Film Festival. I'm hanging out with my man, Jeremy Ryan. He is uh, got a look about him, and I missed the memo about suiting up, but you wear it well, my man. So thanks for hanging out I with me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Now, I actually perform suited up now, so I'm just trying to give a little taste of what people would see on LOL Jack's Festival on Saturday. So before we get into all of that, tell me a little bit about you and your musical background, because your sound has got some swag. It's going to have some people feeling some type of way. Yeah, no. Could be some new kids coming around, but that's a whole nother Idaho. <laughs> but yeah, tell me a little about it. Um, well, I grew up with um, Michael Jackson and Prince and a lot of um, choir music, um, which allows to keep that funk and old school type of sound so I really try to when I record give back to what raised me and what helped create my sound so now I'm not trying to date myself or put too much out there but can I ask how old you are I'm um, 29 so you were like in that pocket where I know some 29 year olds that don't know Michael <laughs> or Prince or they might know him on the periphery but yeah. for you to have embraced all of that is that from influences growing up your family yeah my, my mom and dad definitely didn't let us listen to too much music outside of church music but when they did it was of that type of funk and I, I loved Thriller and literally any of Michael Jackson all the way up to Dangerous to Butterflies and Prince, I, I'm a movie fanatic, so Purple Rain and those t musics to movies correlations, it just, it, it drew me in immediately, so. All right, so let's pivot a little bit. So I said, you mentioned LOL Jack's Film Festival, so we just talked about movies. That's what we call a segue, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so with that, what does it mean for you to be able to be included with creatives that aren't necessarily music focused, but with your uh, love of film, now you're getting your toe in there. So, I mean, all of this mixing together, how does that make you feel? Um, it's an amazing feeling because art is art, whether it's music or visually, um, the person or teams usually, because even with my music, I don't do it by myself. I have a team behind me that helps. Um, when the team gets together and, and pushes the vision and it comes out, um, even just finishing, it doesn't even have to be amazing, but even just finishing something is, the beauty in it and um, with film whether you got to do something very quick or you have a lot of time finishing and coming up and having your family and closest friends come around and watching it is is absolutely epic so I'm, I'm honored so anything going on after lol jacks film festival um i'm actually in the works of putting together like my own little acting series um like i'm gonna eventually try to sell on a dvd um but Right now, it's just more music and music videos until I can be able to surprise people with, say, a whole season instead of like an episode or something. So you're going like full Beyonce with the uh, <laughs> with the video album yeah. and all of that. I see. You. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Or Childish Gambino is another example of someone yeah. who can do music and then come out with Atlanta. As we're going out, why don't we harmonize like? I'm rich out of <laughs> River City. La. <laughs> because life is not ever promised, so I keep on going. Respect is not ever given, so it's hard to stay safe. Jeremy and his band will be headlining Saturday night after the first round of screenings. There will be other acts performing that night, also Sunday night after that round of screenings. If you'd like to find out more about those events and how to get tickets, it's going down at WJCT Studios. Go to loljacks.com and you can find more of Jeremy's music on Instagram at jryanmusic.